All right, Spooktober. Welcome to the spooky times. We're gonna have a little bit of spooky, scary times. You're scared? I'm scared too. Don't worry. Uh, I'm still addicted to Noida, so we're, we're gonna play this for a little while and then we're mostly gonna be playing Noida, so <laughs> it won't be that spooky for that long. You're gonna be okay. So let's see what Darkwood's all about. I have no idea what this game's about, what it is, how it works, nothing. Indiegogo content? Yes, please. Probably should lower the volume a little bit. If that's a heartbeat, this is pretty loud. All I know is that I was told to play it, so here we are. Oh, that's part of the music. There we go, that, that's probably fine. Play. New. Difficulty. Normal. We'll just do- we'll do normal. Your phone's having some mental issues? You're playing a challenging and unforgiving game. You will not be led by the hand. Respect the woods. Be patient. Focus. Oh lord. Be, be patient. Focus. We're screwed. We're, we're gonna be doomed. I don't know how to, like, be patient. I'm, I'm not familiar with the term. I see hatred and fear in the eyes. That's not hatred or fear, that's Jeff. As if I was responsible for the spreading disease. I hope so. I would love this game if the actual threat was Smokey the Bear. As if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. Do, 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 do. I have nowhere to hide from them, nowhere to run. The woods have closed us off from the outside. We are all doomed. Oh, unexpected. I, re I really thought this was gonna be like, a first-person horror game kind of thing, you know what I mean? The only edible thing growing on the island. I still have some left. Just play more Resident Evil 2 and forget the rest of the games? You want more Resident Evil 2? I thought you hated Resident Evil 2. <gasps> it's Milk Jug! Can I take this? Put it in my pocket? Nope, that puts it on the floor. There we go, that picks it up. Alright, no notes so far. Resident Evil is spoop. You know it. <laughs> Milk Chuck, I, I literally had no idea what this game was. And I was like, alright, it's gonna be like a first person in the woods kind of thing. So I am still kind of reeling from shock. <laughs> now we have a nice top down thing going on here. Just so you know, just how a uh, little I know about this game you gave me, I refuse to spoil even what it was like. Oh, you're sick? That's... Uh, I'm sorry. Feel better. Take everything. Alright, got a nice photograph. <coughs> Excuse me. You don't tell me what I'm gonna love. You're not my mom. Only she gets to tell me what I'm allowed to like. Got some empty cages. Rather not open it. I spend too much time to lock him in there. I spent too much time to lock him in. We have someone locked in that room. 
The lock is jammed a long time ago. Never mind. I used to keep useless junk in there anyway. This looks like a top-down shot of Patrick. It's kind of weird. Ooh, got more rooms to look at. I got in here. The radio is silent for years, although sometimes I think I hear voices through the static. Can I put this in my inventory? No, it's just an interactable. Dismantling this now would be suicide. Yeah. Alright, don't want to dismantle any barricaded windows. Locked. I think I left the key in the wardrobe. Oh. I don't think I've seen a wardrobe yet. Got a locked door. Wait. Oh, oh here we go. This is a door I haven't opened yet. Wait, you think Static's in this game? Best not to enter his room right now. But where's my wardrobe? My bed. I've just woken up. Oh, here we go. It's a top-down shot of the wardrobe, obviously. Got some rags, alcohol, boards, matchsticks. And of course, my private journal. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna make me inventory this up, aren't you? But I took my key, I put it in my inventory. God, what am I doing? Get out of there. Key's not there anymore. I definitely took the key. If the cursor is a plus icon, you could hold left mouse and open the action menu. There we go. Feel like I forgot to take something with me. I think that dog has seen better days. All right, gentlemen. What else you got here? A matchstick? I'll just I'll take a bunch of stuff. Luigi's house, Luigi's mansion three. That's not out yet, is it? When's that come out? Alright, got a little journal. Who's a good boy? My dog. I don't think he's gonna make it. I should end his suffering. Take some rope, sure. October 31st? That's the end of Spooktober. I mean, if the woods are the problem, maybe I should move away from the woods, you know? Alright, it's a little, a little bit dark over there. Man, I do not have much stamina, do I? Like, oh, I'm so sleepy. Why did I want to come out here? Oh, I could vault over the fence. Gotta look way up at the top of the screen more often. What? God, I'm so athletic. See, and you thought this was going to be a scary game. So far, not spooky at all. We just have a sick dog. It's sad, but it's not scary. With a weapon in your hotbar, hold right mouse button to take aim. Then press left mouse button to aim while attacking. Maybe I need to, uh, equip it. There we go. Take that tree. Think the dog's gonna eat me? He loves me too much. He's my my precious precious best friend. Press M to access the map. So here's my house. We don't go there anymore. That's Raven Home. The woods have devoured all the roads that connected us to the outside world. No one's able to pass through this thicket. Ooh. The Fog of War, or rather the, the Cone of Light, is very interesting that it... Like, my character forgets that this is here. It's like, where was that campfire? Oh, there it is. 
Ooh, ooh, more matchsticks. I'll take them. I'll have some more boards. Thank you very much. I want to stack these boards. Rags. Add to my rag pile. Only stack five rags at a time, like real life. Oh, I know it's my field of vision. I was just remarking that, like, this rock will stay there regardless of where I'm looking. But this will disappear if I'm not looking at it. It's it's interesting what they choose to have disappear and have not disappear. Like, the grass goes, but the rocks stay? Oh, that's just uh, desaturating the green. These parts of the woods are dark. I should make myself a torch. There we go. Torch made. What were you googling? Also, welcome back. I just like thinking about choices developers make while they're making games. Abandoned house. Don't mind if I vault. This doesn't look like an abandoned house. In a few days, it'll be completely absorbed. See, that's pretty neat. Like, having the corpses not to be there when you're looking away. So I think they chose to do it for the creep factor. Uh, more rags? Why not? Rags are great. They have a... Ah, you can repair a doorway. So I guess, like, you might have to fortify her in yourself in somewhere while exploring. And just like the real life, Patrick, this guy has no stamina. Ah, you're looking to see if there's a special Borderlands event went live. Still having fun with Borderlands, I see. I think this one is still breathing. Hello, sir. Big metal key. If there's an exit out of these woods, this key will surely open it. This is him out of his gym suit. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a re, a re carrying a key in some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. But that... is of no importance. You found another of your friends has scoliosis? Got a lot of, uh, some bad posture friends. <laughs> Also, how's it going, Liquid? Need to get out of this cursed gear, you hear me right? Show me how and I'll let you go. Are we secretly- <coughs> <coughs> Secretly the bad guys? She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Hey, Slicket. We're playing a little spooky game for a little bit, then we're switching the Noida. Where's the exit? Because it's Spooktober. Where? Show me where! Oh. Yeah, we might not be the good guy. Well, he can't answer if you do that. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. Bye, I love you. Sleep well. I bet we're this guy with the hat. We're gonna switch characters. Yes, we are. That fucker stole my key! To my jalopy! Enter to a small cellar, maybe the pantry. I can open with a lockpick. Evil. I'll take some wire, some some rags, 
And uh, I wanted to take some stuff out of the poop bucket. This barricade's too strong to dismantle. Alright, so I think what we want to do is, uh... Go ahead and craft a lockpick. And craft some bandages. And then use this. On myself. Use it. What if I put it there? Well, will you let me use it now? There we go. Feeling way better now. Alright, we're in. Got myself a shovel. Ooh, and a flashlight. with our shovel here. Just gonna go ahead and, uh... Oh. Too strong to dismantle. Gonna go ahead and... bash our way in. That's fine. I don't need a shovel anyway. Hello, s Sir? Sir? Hold on, I know this one. <laughs> yeah! Damn it. Alright, I think our friend is in here somewhere. Just go ahead, please let me out. Hello? Alright, our, our friend is in here somewhere. Alright, can't do anything with that. Now we'll leave it up. Barricade's too strong to dismantle. Uh oh! A metal table with leather belts strapped to it. Friend? He's gonna be right behind me. Gasoline? And a table leg. Alright, he didn't, he didn't appear directly behind me like I thought he would. Alright, let's equip the gasoline tank. <clears throat> I guess we could lo use gasoline as a weapon? Given that it has different mechanics than keys? So I imagine we could pour this on people, and then light a match. There we go, nice and light in here now. I don't recall seeing this before. <laughs> this corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open. I could hear a distorted voice, barely distinguishable from the radio static. So this was the radio we saw on the floor before. One, two, three, and four. Four, eight, nine, two. Eight. Nine. Two. Need to apply some force. I thought you wanted my help! Dick! What an asshole. Well, at least I have the small plastic chick now. That makes up for it. Flashlight doesn't work too good in here, does it? What's so funny? 
How do you want to get out now? You think you can manage it all by yourself? Hear it? Hmm, something interesting is going on. Uh, no solicitors, please. No solicitors. Nope. I was going to say no solicitors again, but unfortunately we died. Although that was just the prologue. So I imagine we're, we're okay, or we're going to be a different character. All you've had is water? You should drink, uh, well, I mean you're sick, so keep drinking water. But you should make yourself some, uh, chicken and soup. Ah, uh, we're fine, look. Sackman here will make us feel better. He's gonna take us to, uh, the Hypogean Goal. Yeah, orange juice, that's also good when you're sick. Chapter 1. I see he's just fine. Got a lot of... A lot of heavy duty cables? Or are these like... Roots? No, they have to be cables. Look at that. Alright, I want some rags. Nails. A photo of a road. <coughs> Pollen. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the stove. The oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective substance, which gives me rela rela relative safely. Oh my god. Hold on, I'm gonna take an allergy pill. That way I can focus a little more. It's the smell of the protective substance, which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are dist distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Look at the weird bottle. Allergy pog, yes. The label on the bottle says, Staying out of reach of the protective substance after nightfall results in immediate death 99 out of 100 times. It is advised to evenly spread the gas inside the sleeping area. Warning! Even a properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant. Is recommended to stay in well lit indoor areas in order to minimize risk. Alright, repeats. When I arrived here a couple days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just needed to light it up to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have been one of our hideouts. The inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale this revolting gas. Look inside the pot a small, empty cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. Can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms. Those red, pulsating mushrooms. They look so... tasty. Maybe this pot will prove useful after all. Gotta cook, Jesse. Oh, I can't cook these things. Never mind, we're okay, Jesse. So I had, like, perhaps the worst start to a day that someone could have today. So I'm still kind of out of it. Yesterday, I barricaded one of the windows. If I want to stay here for some time, I should do the same with the other windows. Oh, I got... Oh, these are things I can make. Upgrade item. Upgrade workshop. Need more wood. <laughs> I mean, always need more wood. Got some squishy noises. Don't have the required resources. Today I woke up, got a bowl of cereal, got into my room, bowl of cereal hits the floor, have to spend half an hour cleaning up spilt wood. Sorry, spilt milk and cereal. I go downstairs, I'm like, alright, let's make a different bowl of cereal. Open the fridge. 
knock out a carton of eggs. I have to spend time cleaning up a carton of eggs that spilled on the floor. Go to Starbucks to get coffee before the stream. Turns out there's like a million people at Starbucks. Have to wait for 25 minutes for my coffee. It's been, it's been a day. It's been a day. You hope I love this game? I hope I love this game too. Yes, it was Double Star Day, and that's why I was going. Doesn't make up for all the other nightmares. I got a pumpkin spice chai latte. Because I like mixing pumpkin spice and chai. Heavy breathing. Alright, well I guess we gotta go find some lumber. What we got in here? Oh, you know what? Let's go cook some mushrooms. Jesse's right, we should really cook. I mean, we could always eat these. A lot of bugs here. Vanilla bean because you don't want caffeine? That seems like a good choice. Being sick and caffeine aren't great mixes. Oh, I got a bit of an opening here. Maybe we'll just go ahead and... I just, I just plug that one up a little bit, you know? There we go. Well defended. I can extract ten essence from this. ESSENCE FOR SKEXIES! We require essence. The bear trap under the window is still open. Looks like this night was exceptionally uneventful. Ooh, rope. Ooh, alcohol. Let's uh, stack some rags there. Empty bottle. And a mushroom book called Isotek Zagrisgebau. We are Gosseberhatsetel Dumenwim. I know my pronunciation is perfect every time. You don't have to remind me. Let's just go to bed. Get in bed. Maybe German. I don't know what I was reading. Bandages are probably going to be nice to have. And bandages with alcohol are also probably going to be nice to have. Oh, we replaced one with the other. I see. Looked Russian? I wouldn't notice any Cyrillic characters, but I'm also not, not nearly an expert. So it seems like we need lumber, but we don't have an axe. But we might find one if we go looking around in the woods. What's this? Underground entrance. I am here. The dry meadow hideout. I don't think I want to go underground. That sounds perhaps a dangerous place to go. Oh, Polish. Could have been Polish. Oh, stamina meters. The game opened with be patient. And I was like, oh no. I don't know how to be patient. But it makes sense for this kind of game. You're gonna want... You're gonna want your players to freak out, run, run out of stamina, and then really push in. Wish my character did more cardio, though. Oh, it's a tree, or a bush, rather. Nice shadows. Oh, heavy breathing. Poisonous mushrooms. Oh, not allowed to take those. Burned house. Dry meadow. Do I not have an icon on the map? How do I know where I am? Alright, we could just fix this car, we'll be fine. We're gonna get out of here.
Ooh, yes, more mushrooms. Harvest them. Skeksis need essence. That's fine. Don't take the poisonous mushrooms. Be a coward. It could be the good kind. You don't know. Locked. Need a key. Alright, there might be someone inside. <gasps> Gozaline. I always like finding that. Nails are always fun. No. Mushroom remains. Seems like maybe stepping on mushrooms is no good for us. What if they're yelling at- oh wait, we just stepped in more poison mushrooms. Tennis Hell Desk, how's it going, buddy? Can't tell if the edge of the screen is because I stepped on poison mushrooms or if because like nighttime's happening. I'm un unaware of like how the passive time works. Oh, it is because I'm poisoned. Yeah, no. I lost half my health there. Eh? Your dad left his car keys here, and now he's on a plane to Phoenix. Looks like you need to mail some keys. Express. <laughs> Try and beat the him home with the keys. What do we have here? I can smell your stench from far away, meat. Hi, Wolfman. Even from afar, I could smell your putrid stench. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses, meat. The figure hides his face under the hood. It smells of wet soil and fur. I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you lost if you help me attend to a certain matter. What do you say, comrade? As he leans toward me, I can hear him giggling under the hood. Ah, I see. I knew it would interest you. Before we make a deal, you need to prove that you can do the job. I have no time for weakling meat. You follow. Show me what you're made of. Get through to the silent forest. You think it's so easy? If I were you, I'd prepare myself well before setting out. When you get there, you will find me in this spot. Remember it. The wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you always crawl back to me. Show item, trade, gossip. If I were you, I wouldn't venture too far from here, unless you get bored of your lousy life, meat. Only a few returned from the dense woods, and those who made it back were not able to share their happy stories. <laughs> what is this game? This is Darkwood. It is a isometric horror game. Exit. So he wants us to go... Oh, he's here. We need to go to this camp over here in the silent forest. Or sorry, top down. You're right. It's not isometric. It's top down. Isometric will be tilted a little bit and we have a little bit more profile of the character as opposed to the top of head. So from where we are, we want to go down and then left. No, no, you're right. You're right. You know how we feel about pedantic arguments here at Shake the Box. It's what we live for. <laughs> Hope that dog... Hey! Hold, hold on, dog. Uh, put that there. Well, that was mean. Sent his dog at us. I assume all dogs are related. Maybe we'll heal a little bit. And maybe we'll craft some more bandages. No, it seems to be a game about you dying to your own bombs. Oh, trust me, we'll be switching the Noida soon and you'll be able to see all of the myriad ways you could die if you want to. I'm, I'm an expert at dying and creative and new ways in Noida. 
Ten times. How quaint. How quaint. So I think uh, this Friday, instead of doing card games for the late night tipsy whipsy, it's gonna be gonna be Spooktober games. Normally I don't, but I think I want to play a game like Bad Mojo or uh, or the other one that's name I'm forgetting right now, and we'll do them in kind of a a campfire story horror game kind of way. Yeah, I have so many deaths at this point. Listen, you want to do this? You want to fucking dance, dog? Let's fucking dance. Come on. All right. You're really good at dancing, apparently. Does my character not believe in his fists? No. All right, we need to get something we hit him with. Uh, throwable. Son of a bitch. Leave me alone! There's so many dogs in here. Uh, meat. That's like the only thing I have for, for combat here. There's sticks everywhere, why can't I pick one up? You'll be able to tell it's getting nighttime, it'll look orange for dusk. Alright. More dogs, come on. <laughs> Man, you're almost at like one death a minute. Listen, dog, you can't even use these things. Don't don't give me shit. Good god, there's dogs everywhere. So many dogs. I need stuff, all right, guys. You gotta, you gotta calm the hell down. Ooh, pills here. God damn it! Well, I guess I live here now. A white child's dress? Well, that's weird. And some fabric. Ooh, it's fine fabric. Finally, I can open the dress shop I've always wanted to open. It's been so long since that dream. Alright, come on in. That's his home now. Oh, oh, right in the sack. And that's their home now. All right. Excellent. Go ahead and put that on my bar. And use it, because I'm almost dead. The only game you die faster in is any MMO. Well, there you go. Gasoline. Board. Can I hit people with board? <coughs> no, I can't. We need to find, like, a weapon? That would be ideal, I think. So there's dogs everywhere. <gasps> Gasoline. A tire? Take it for now, just in case. Why are they trying? There's a pig right here. They give the Covenant back their bomb. A ball! Go get it, boy! What's your fucking problem? I get. Well, there's meat. It's right here. Look at this. See this meat? Yeah. Look at that. Aren't you interested in that? Are, are you not interested in the meat? Come on. Walk at the meat. There we go. Stupid animal. 
Grab some matchsticks. The dogs I locked inside the house are out of luck. That's their life now. Of course, I'm sure there's more dogs. Oh my god, there's so many dogs! <laughs> Permission to give their covenant back their bomb, sir. Permission granted. So we're at the burned house. We need to keep going left. Broken tractor. I understand that, like, when it comes to video games, you have to make certain choices, right? You can't do everything you want to do. You have to pick and choose. But it always weirds me out in games where, like, you have to collect resources like wood. And then you run into, like, a thing made of planks of wood like this, but you're not allowed to take those things. I find that strange. I need to choose what I'm leaving behind here. I'll just... We'll take these like this. Alright, we need to go back to the house, I guess. We're probably going to die soon. Because it's getting pretty dark. And the house, it's kind of far away. It's a little bit to the right and then up. Oh god. Alright, up. Up, up, up. Let's go, let's go. Gotta get to our safe place. God damn it. The sure a lot of poison mushrooms around. Well, we just found that poison mushroom. Let the stamina bar refill, and now sprint. Don't stop sprinting. Keep going. Let it refresh. I think we're home. I think house is here. Just in time. Of course, we still gotta get inside our house. We haven't barricaded any parts of our house. There we go, easy peasy. Uh, oven. Make more essence for Skeksis. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go. Go to bed. Guess we're not allowed to go to bed. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where the generator is relative to everything. Where did I leave that generator? Oh god, is it outside? Is the generator outside? <laughs> Oh, it's, it's outside the house? Well then. Oh, were those poison? No, we're fine. We're fine. This is how you tell you're poison, by the way. No, it was poison mushrooms. That's good. That's very good. So we need to go outside our house. So what you're saying is we're going to be a dead person soon. I feel like I have flares, at least. We, we have this going for us. Alright, we need to go fill up the generator. Come on, push it out of the way. Oh god damn it, the dogs followed us home! Bubba! I regret I regret coming outside to try and fill the generator. <laughs> I should have just suffered in the darkness. Where are you? Where's the generator? <gasps> I 
Here it is. I found it. Nope. Pick that back up right now, sir. I forgot. Gasoline works differently. There we go. It is a little bit on the survival side. I'm not... I'm not a huge survival game person, but at least there's no eating food or drinking water. We have that going for us. The tank is empty. I see no reason not to fill her up. My main concern right now is I'm pretty sure all of the dogs are inside my house, and now they live there, and this is no longer my house. I'm a little bit worried about that. My house! Oh, son of a bitch, he came in. Alright, I have a roommate now. That's not bad, right? It's fine. Nothing wrong with a roommate. Wish I had the room with a bed, though. I want to go to bed. We do have the bear trap under the window. I could try and lure him there. Oh, this is outside. My house is very dark. I am having some difficulty. Problem is, if that dog hits me once, I'm pretty sure I'd die. Kind of out of bandages here. Now, Milk Jug, your plan had one fatal flaw, which is that I stepped on the, the bear trap. I'm not saying it's your fault, but I do blame you for this. Wolfman? Oh no, this is this is a different person. <laughs> this is a uh, oven mitt. A man roughly my size is standing before me. I can barely make out his disturbingly familiar features through the matte visor of his helmet. The massive helmet is covered with an odd sack and seems to be an integral part of the unnaturally pale body. I remember him. He's the one who rescued me from the doctor's house. The man reaches out to me with his black hand. It's covered in charcoal. There's something written on his worn, wooden, sorry, woolen glove. We need to stick together, brother. His lips are moving, but all sounds are drowned inside the helmet. He shrugs, then takes the huge sack off his back and drops on the ground, revealing its contents. It's filled with Beanie Babies. The man is an obsessive collector, and he's here to trade. Which Beanie Babies would you like? Ah, uh, we got battery. Fine fabric. Let's maybe sell some fine fabric. Then we could buy... Hmm. Beamy Bab. Playing some red egg. An ordinary chicken egg. The only difference being that it's red. Then it's not ordinary. Pills, pills. Gas tank. Uh, is there something that I hit people with? Bullets are fine, but maybe like a gun to put them in. <gasps> I can hit the dogs on the nose with a tubular magazine. A long barrel. Handgun frame. Oh, we're gonna have to assemble a gun. Rag, 9 volt battery, matchstick, tape, weapon parts. Just parts. Bolt handle, a shovel blade, an axe blade. Sell me a whole thing, you monster! Oh, metal pipe. You see, I can hit someone with a metal pipe. And he goes a leave. Who want a watch? Hmm. I definitely want the pipe for, you know, the hitting of people with. Let's also grab some rag. Did we lose all of our nails? <coughs> Weird. I wonder how the game determines what you lose and what you keep. Winston the Wrinkle Duck. That watch costs 300. We'd have to uh, not buy anything else if we wanted that watch. Oh, it's Valentine's. That's my birthday. So I guess we're gonna need some nails again. 
It seems like we lost all of our nails. We had we had quite a few. We kept the battery, the pills, the wire. I am very curious. Oh, and one plank and, and a flare. We lost our nails and a bunch of other stuff. Like, I'm curious how the game determines what you lose and what you don't lose. If you survive overnight, you gain currency. Oh, that's nice. I guess we'll buy this stuff for now and uh, see if we could afford a watch in the future. Welcome back, Nooblet. Photo of Road. He wipes his left glove on his pants, takes out the charcoal from his pocket, and starts scribbling. When he finishes, he lifts his dirty hand. All roads lead deeper into the woods. Well, that's not very useful. Alright, Jesse. Would you like to be Booblet? Oh, here we go! I just left my backpack on the floor. I shouldn't have bought all those nails. You live, you learn. You put the pipe on the inventory bar so you don't have to equip it later. You're Booblet, or Nooblet, or Noob. So I guess it's early morning right now? I guess we'll reset this. Or I guess we picked it up, rather. Where'd it go? I touched it, and now it's not in my inventory. Huh. Oh, time doesn't start until you leave the house. Okay. Alright, what can we make? Chain trap. Board with nails. I mean, let's make one board with nails. I feel like that's a smart move. And maybe now we'll start barricading some stuff. We're actually building a well. I don't know what a well does, but why not? Alright, so a well helps us heal. The plot appears to be that we're trapped in some sort of somewhat magical wooden area. Wooded area, I should say. And uh, we need to figure out how to get out of here. We're trying to leave the woods. Alright, once again, we want to go down, 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 left, left, left. Because a wolf man wants us to find a thing for him. Is that the broken tractor? We know there's nine billion dogs between here and there. I hope they're still living in their new apartment I gave them. And not wandering the streets, causing people trouble. Oh, I need another piece of wire. No yushes for us. Yush. Yush. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, this Friday we're gonna do... Bad Mojo, which is a real weird game. I'm pretty excited about it. That's the doghouse right there. Oh no. I locked him in there, but there's. <laughs> it's just you can walk out again. That's alright. He, he has his Xbox. He's busy. Yeah, basically the plot is wood scare. Is that Bunny Rabbit? He's too fast for me. He's a fast bunny. Alright, location found. We just found the entrance to the silent forest. Listen, then the true villain of the game shows up, Smokey the Bear, and then we're screwed. All right, you think you think this is scary? Smokey the Bear is scary. I think we need to figure out how to get into the house in order to go into the woods, which is con very convenient architecture for Wow Big Bug. Can I vault this? No, it's too tall. Too tall to vault. We can just go around and in. There we go. You need a microscope to see anything? A 
a table just moved in there. Is it because we're so zoomed out? I can adjust the resolution if that'll help. Ooh, a Molotov cocktail? Put it on the hot bar. What could go wrong by switching on the generator? Alright, not allowed to interact with the hole. This place is infected with something toxic. I need to find a way to get rid of it. Oh my. I mean, I have one idea. When in doubt, fire. Oh, they don't have any Skeksis essence on their stovetop. Need a key. Oh no, I didn't have enough fire to get through both of these zones. Well, that's problematic. Guess we could just run it. That wasn't too bad. We could have certainly done worse there. Something is floating inside. The skin looks to be quite thin. Maybe I could puncture or pierce it with something. Alright, what we get inside? An embryo. Right, you, you just keep the embryo on the floor. We're gonna stack some rags here. Damn it! We're gonna ditch something. But what? Rope? Empty bottle? Empty bottle. I feel like an embryo is slightly more exciting than an empty bottle. But also, let's make bandages. Turn all rags into bandages. There we go. Healing potential achieved. And I'm worried because I saw this chair move before. It was a very improper night. All right, I couldn't see you. Metal pipe isn't a weapon? Oh shit. Oh god damn it. 